Thank you for visiting bestbiblecommentaries.com. In this video, I'd like to show you one of the best reviewed commentaries on the book of 1 Corinthians. Before I do, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel to see videos on Bible commentaries, study Bibles, and other resources that help people understand God's Word. Gordon D. Fee is the author of the first epistle to the Corinthians commentary in the New International Commentary on the New Testament series, or the NICNT series. This commentary is almost 850 pages in length. It was originally published in 1987. There is a revised edition that came out in 2014. So if you buy this new today, you're going to get the 2014 edition. This commentary is well-reviewed for being accessible by multiple audiences. Um, uh, professors uh, have given this volume high praise. Pastors have loved this volume. And lay people have also found this volume helpful. Now, this is a mid-level commentary. So if you are a lay person, um, if you are used to reading biblical reference material, I think you would do fine with this volume. If you're not, perhaps something more introductory would be a, a good first, first step to studying, um, to reading a Corinthians commentary and then move on to this one, or at least use this one as a supplement to something that's a little bit more introductory. Uh, but overall, Fee writes in a very accessible way, and um, which enables him to reach multiple audiences, and it's just rare for a commentary to be praised by all of those different audiences at the same time. Fee comes from a Pentecostal background. He, um, he's in the Pentecostal tradition and uh, the Assemblies of God church in particular. And um, but what's interesting is that this commentary has been well-reviewed by people outside of that particular tradition. One example, New Testament scholar D.A. Carson, um, who is reformed by conviction, has said for years that this is one of the best commentaries on the book of First Corinthians. So that's just one example, but there are others as well where people just uh, are in high praise of this particular commentary from Gordon Fee. Now, uh, in some passages, the reader will, will, it will be clear to the reader, chapters 1 Corinthians 12 through 14, for example, it will be clear that Fee is interpreting those passages according to his Pentecostal con convictions. However, there are other sections, there are other verses and passages in 1 Corinthians where Fee actually pushes back on the traditional understanding, uh, traditional Pentecostal understanding of those particular passages and offers something that he thinks is more true to the text. So he does, um, he does his best job to stay true to the text and not necessarily just interpret everything according to his denominational tradition. At the same time, in various passages, his convictions are, are quite clear. Um, but there have, again, there have been many who have praised this particular commentary who are not in his tradition. So, and that's very common with, and that's common with commentary reviewers. You have those in the Pentecostal tradition um, praising commentaries from writers in different traditions and, and vice versa. So that's not unusual, um, but it, it's, it's interesting um, and it's kind of neat when that happens. The commentary is not technical. A reader does not need to know Greek. There's not a lot of Greek in the main body of, of the commentary um, itself. There is more Greek in the footnotes, so if a reader is interested in that, there is plenty of footnotes there. Um, but I think that pastors and lay people in particular will probably spend most of their time on the major part of the commentary. Now, there's some commentaries today that will actually have a, a, a section devoted to application of a passage and maybe even offer some example illustrations. Uh, that's not the case with this particular commentary. But um, what Fee does a good job of doing is offers devotional insight um, on most passages, and, that, and those insights can really be used by uh, pastors and teachers of the Word. Um, they can be used as kind of uh, starting points for building application for a message, building, um, um, getting insight into relevance and meaning for the text today. So you can't just turn to a section and say, okay, here's the application, but it's just, it's woven throughout the conversation. And I would, I would refer to it more as devotional insight, which is, what could be this, which could be the starting point 
for application for those who are teaching and preaching through the book. So again, it is, is very readable. It's very accessible. It's very devotional. And it is just, um, for many people, um, the best commentary available on, on 1 Corinthians. But even those who don't rate it that high will include it in, in the top of their list. And that's been the case with this particular volume for years. So I hope this video has been helpful to you in understanding more about this particular commentary. Um, thank you for watching this video and thank you for visiting bestbiblecommentaries.com.